Hi guys, hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a daily reading for the 23rd of October. If it is your birthday, happy birthday to you. And if it is a anniversary, happy anniversary to you too. I just wanted to uh, extend uh, just a happy go lucky energy for you all who are celebrating today. And uh, if you are down and out, I just uh, I just send you some love and light. I get it. I uh, ask you to send it that uh, my way as well, so that we may hold each other up and uh, be a support, even energetically, to one another. It's important. There's no there's no space or time or anything like that in the spirit, as we know. And uh, so, anyway, I just uh, I just send it to you. Whatever you need today that that I'm able to give, I freely give it to you energetically, and ask that the Holy Spirit would come and uh, supply what needs to be supplied to you, because Jehovah surely will. If you're returning, welcome back. And those of you who are brand spanking new, just a little bit about myself. I'm not uh, churchy. I'm not religious, but I could come across that way to you at times. I do use living language in my readings, and I do believe in Jehovah, who is my Yeshua, is my prophecy, is my uh, is my uh, salvation. He is uh, everything to me, and he gets full reign on my internet towers. And uh, he's the one building it, because if you don't build it, it's in vain. And so, anyway... I just lift up all my gates to him and I let the king of glory come in. And if that's not something that you don't want, then this is where we'll depart if you haven't already clicked off. Otherwise, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get started. Jehovah, I just appreciate you and I thank you for the answer to anything that anyone needs. You have the answer for it. Help me to relay the message as I should. I ask for your uh, wisdom and your knowledge. And uh, Jehovah, rebuke, bind, block every negative, dark, wicked, dry force right here, right now. And command it to go straight to the pit of hell where it belongs. I thank you, Jehovah, <clears throat> that you are our shield and buckler. We have the Seven of Cups that's come out here and the Nine of Wands. So, obviously, there's been a war that's gone on. And um, the Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior. It says not to give up and to protect that which you have created, okay, you created it, it's yours, uh, you protect it, you keep going, and you're always watching over it, and above that, he will protect something for you, uh, this says to have courage, and to believe, uh, and just believe in Jehovah, this is spiritual energy with the nine of um, wands, and there was some type of a complex decision here with the seven of cups, uh, somebody's needed to take some type of a time to, to do some reach search or you need to um, <clears throat> this is to stop for procrastinating the seven of cups is a consequence card uh, obviously we're already at the nine of wands and somebody's done something here and made a decision and it caused a war somewhere um, or just some type of real spiritual a complex situation here it, a nine is a global awareness right um, so there's many options to do something and you need to protect what you've created okay and uh, connect with the divine and, and a nine is an ending something could be ending also uh, from whatever the seven of cups decision in the situation was made uh, and you're always just showing you're at the end right here. And and yeah, you're wounded, whatever the choice around. Maybe maybe somebody made a choice around you and caused you to be in the war and had to stand up and protect what you knew was yours. Uh, but a nine is an ending, uh, and there was a consequence to whatever was chosen here. What do you want to bring out here today, Jehovah, for any given person that needs to, to listen to this message? Can be justice here, Jehovah said, um, for someone. If you're standing in the truth, uh, he'll go for you. He'll he'll protect that thing for you, and he'll make sure that that uh, the truth comes to the surface every single time, regardless how complex somebody made something. So we have the moon here, and that that is secretive stuff. That's also having to use your intuition. Somebody made a wrong choice and started a war. Cause somebody else had to get up and uh, fight the thing and be a warrior. Uh, look, it says to protect that which is, um, which is what you've created. And somebody else made a decision and you had to protect what you created. And somebody else came in here, made the decision on top of that, that they left, lost their ever loving mind. Um, and they're, 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 there's depression here. Okay, we got a wounded warrior that's wounded. 
But we also had some babies that ever love and lost their mind and they're in bed. Okay, we had the RN come out in one of my readings and we had the death twice that came out. We had the president and the president and the uh, we had the president of the United States and the vice president came out right side of one another and the overall energy was headship. Okay? Now obviously we're dealing with stuff in uh in the country. Um, but the, there's there's headship stuff going on at a higher level than that, and Jehovah says to, to, to connect with him, and he's going to protect whatever's happened in, in the night, in the hunting and chasing for other people's projects and stuff, for, for it to come out here and say not to give up and to protect what you've created, what you've created, okay? As somebody else uh, was creative with it. the Seven of Cups is also a creative energy, but somebody was deceptive within it causes depression here um that's interesting what's coming out here eight is about secrets right and the moon is about secrets something very much emotional here it could be somebody within your home that was close to you that did something took your projects whatever you created okay um but somebody's a warrior over here and it's at the end of it there's been cycles of things that's gone on maybe with your mother or around a, a mother situation or children uh it's the home showing up here somebody's sick in their mind about something that's taking place either with the mother or with their child um that that was created and somebody's had to protect that because somebody made a wrong choice and man it just cost them it was a consequence around it what else you want to bring out? Uh, we have the temperance card coming out here. And the temperance is reconciliation as well. And something's taking place where you've had to protect something that, that you created and somebody made a choice around that and you ever live and lost their mind. Um, this is a, this is a um, reconciliation. It's everything in moderation, but obviously somebody hasn't been. Uh, the wheel is here as well. Both of us go back to the same house. Travel trips and money. Fortune is here. Okay. The husband and protection and to protect what you created. This is the truth. This is the law. Um, we know if you're new, I take the Hebraic pictograph um, uh, root language and I correspond it with the tarot because it's actually found here. This is, as we all, all know, it's a river. It's also eternity, and it goes back to children. And so, so and we got the mother, and we got a husband. Uh, both these energies is the um, uh, the chariot card in the deck. Travel is here then, where uh, a father or a mother or a, or a husband or a protector or a, a law enforcement, something around a river, and children in eternity, and somebody's made a choice that was uh, that had a consequence to it, and somebody's had to get up fight. For something that was created within a situation here. But the truth is here. And uh, a forgiveness is here about something. As once somebody been in their ever loving mind because of uh, needing forgiveness. Then that's also what it's showing here. Something very much emotional here. Very much emotional. But something's ended here. This is the yod. This is the authority of the divine. This is a this is a inevitable fate taking place here. Uh, something could have happened with uh, an accident. The will itself is showing here. Um, somebody done something. Somebody's will of their tire. We know that is to be uh, the truth for some people. Um, and um, somebody uh, was not moderate in what they what they did. Um, and then that's what it's showing here. Show me the moon. Show me the moon. Because this is deception and running and chasing and laying down in ambush. You could be in the military or militaries involved in something here. Um, the Queen of Wands is here. Which in the upright she would be very much creative. And she would get up and freaking fight. If there's this also the other woman. There's deception and secret, secrets here with another uh, feminine energy then. For some people. And, you, and whatever you've created in your home. Somebody try to come in and make a decision around your home. Uh, put you up in your mind. Okay. It's very emotional and something's died within it. Because eternity can be found here. Uh, spirituality as well. And very spiritual energy with fire. Okay. Uh, in the negative, this this would be somebody who's in a negative spiritual energy that would put their intention on you and um, be very passionate about that. 
and that's that that would be really bad because it's being clarified by the moon uh, in the negative in the upright of the moon this is righteous and humble energy and we do have it going both ways if somebody's uh, made a decision and is, is is having to fight for something that they they created here as somebody else was just as creative and deceptive around it then you know somebody in the process has gotten in their mind and depressed if somebody finally came to themselves knowing what they did but they don't know how to fix something because they just they got out, it just got out of hand there's death energies here with the with the um noon and that's what's showing because there's law around something as well and uh look people just doesn't pay off uh to to be another party to something and to take somebody's stuff and be creative with it and do whatever has happened here with what's coming out. Uh, it ends in this kind of crap. It ends in death and, and being unbalanced. And, uh, uh, and we got somebody's mixing drinks over here. Is somebody really up in their freaking head? Yeah, needing strength, fighting the bull, man. Or something's bullied something within some, uh, some situation. Show me the Eight of Swords, please, Jehovah. Show me the Eight of Swords. So, uh, the Queen of Swords. Well, she's pretty. The, 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 my God. The Queen of Swords here. <laughs> she don't look very pretty. Okay, it could be any sign. Uh, because we all have this in our chart. Everybody has thoughts and words. But this person, very look, I mean, obviously there's a war going on. So, uh, for the negative, the Queen of Swords, this is a witch. And she looks like a freaking witch. And somebody's in their freaking mind here about something. They need a doctor for one thing. This could be a doctor uh, representing a doctor. But we do see somebody. Like I said, we had the RN. Uh, the wording of RN came out in the living language. We have somebody here that's in their mind. They're mental. There's mental here. Uh, cl clarifying mental. Okay. Um. This somebody who's really sharp with their words. They don't care. They'll cut you. I'll slice you. Get away from me. I'm a detached person. And I will take what I want. And you won't say anything. Because I know what I'm doing. Because I'm intelligent. And they're full of themselves. And they've gone crazy. Or somebody has. Or tried to make somebody go crazy. Because they thought they were going to manipulate something. Because the men go back to manipulation. Uh, this, this fiery energy here with the Queen of Wands. In the negative being the other person. They'd manipulate and be passionate about it. And spread their legs get whatever they wanted especially if they're trying to protect something that they even created that in the manipulation of what you created and that's the truth and we've got a judgment though here on some type of a um mental situation going on people so we have two queens here um <sighs> the hangman is at the bottom of the deck on that queen of swords well, something sacrificial here. Something's been confusing. Somebody. This is also the Seven of Cups is a confusion card. Somebody made a confusion and made somebody get up and have to freaking war because they knew what they were doing. This is intelligent energy, but it's caused somebody to lose their ever loving mind, people. Um, show me that. This one wants to show itself. Uh, so, Aquarian energy really comes. This is the full. And if this is somebody just round in, round is what I was hearing with this card today. It has the feel of the will. Uh, and it also has the feel of the world card. Because this is an aviation uh, energy as well for traveling. But uh, given what's out here and there's a war. And somebody's caused a confusion. And somebody's in their mind. And we've got the witch out here herself. And two queens. And some type of manipulative thing. Uh, and, and the fool returns to its folly in the negative and somebody's done something caused freaking war here so that one to show itself that's a that's a know-it-all energy here that was the eight of of wands that i seen at the bottom of the deck i just was that that's love wars we got the other woman here for some of you all somebody's created something here within an outside party to something whether that be your sister your aunt your 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 friend um or the other woman sexually somewhere than than it is all right or something's happened with your mother or with your child and uh uh, an in-law or an, a divorcee is here. There, there's there's uh, eternity though here. And there's also pr a prophet energy. Something very spiritual is here as well. There's the law. It, it's going to put a judgment on something today. Show me the temperance card. Because the truth is out here. And you will win if you keep 
connecting with the divine. They don't get to take what you created and call it theirs and say, no, this is mine. They don't get to do that. They just don't get to do that. My God, if somebody did that to somebody else, they'd get up more on you. Um, that's ridiculous. Uh, the king of wands. Okay, well, if the king, this is the mat, this is a match. Okay. In the upright, this beautiful spiritual energy, they would know how to tap into Yehovah and uh, to know what to do about this witch here or about the ex or about the medical situation or whatever was freaking done and created that had a consequence to it. Okay. Uh, somebody's under judgment uh, for putting somebody up in a war and in their mind because uh, something's hard here. There's emotional stuff here. Very spiritually emotional stuff uh, attached to something that's um, been unbalanced for some people. Okay? Uh, again, if, this, if, if these two people are not in the upright and there's more than one party against somebody... Uh, then there's a bad spiritual war going on here and there's a lot of detachment and um, there's an imbalance and secretive stuff that taking place. It's also the other man. So the other man and the other woman and the negative of this thing, because uh, I'm talking to many different people going to many, going through many different scenarios here. So I'm trying to keep it as general as possible, but the energy itself is out here for any given person. Uh, but somebody really in their head, or 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 the, or the thing has affected children, has put children in their head, and children don't need to be around this crap. And people don't protect. This is about protection energy here. And people don't protect their home and put people up in their freaking mind and creating things around the home because uh, uh, the leadership in the home itself won't protect. If people really love their children, they would protect. But we've got death energies here and some, somebody's lost their, 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 their uh, life in the process of something that was created. Now I have to protect what was created. That That's rightfully somebody else's. Well... And then there's the king of swords. This is detachment energy, big time, freaking bad. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to slice you, and I just don't care. And I will do what I want because I know what I'm doing, just like the queen of swords. And this idiot in the negative is, is a warlock himself, just in the mind. He's just so high-minded in himself. Uh, so we got we, we got real hard energy. So we got two kings and two queens out here. And so we got other people involved in some stuff here. And high intelligent and spiritual wars going on in a very big high volume place that we don't fight against flesh and blood. But principalities and powers of the air, air, the mind. Um, this um, this sword is uh, this uh, king of swords is also uh, holding a book. And I, when I seen him today on one of my other readings that he came out on, he was very detached in that reading. It actually came out clarified with the uh, Nine of Wands that's here <laughs> and the overall energy. Uh, but in this deck, it shows somebody who is um, putting up a scarecrow uh, and he's fake. There's somebody fake around a situation. Okay, for every upright energy, there's the negative is... Uh, is the war going on with it okay so two people went through a divorce and they found uh, people that matched them and that started a freaking war and something was created within that and that's what it's showing it's something very much emotional here and people have had to really use their intuition and uh, to begin to prophesy uh, this prophet energy to to uh, get the download from the divine and be sitting in their king and queenship there to win a war because they are going to win it. They really are going to win it. Let me take some, um, something was ending today because everything has an ending. Okay, you just can't keep going round and round and round and I'm just going to keep turning to my vomit and I'm just in, a, in all this freaking folly and I'm just going to keep going. That's the pride going to be knocked down every single time and you'll have a sick of it. He's just sick of it. This energy is just a big fat know-it-all in the negative. All right, it will never humble itself. It just keep going and going, and I'm going to slice and slice and slice. And you always bring in a death today. It really came out twice, and we are in the season of death, people. Um, they don't care if they die or not. They already did. This energy is already dead in the negative. Okay, we already talked about that yesterday. Let me pull some uh, from this uh, bucket here. Jehovah, uh, you know all things. You know all things. What needs to come out here? Someone's been watching a long time. It's a little FBI here. There's a family member involved. Well, we got family here. And somebody's just freaking nuts. I mean, they're just up in their head or more than one person's up in their head. They need a nurse or this is a nurse or I don't know. Like I said, we had an RN come out. 
um, somebody made some type of a formal declaration in court pronouncing something, claiming something was true. Well, where was the other party? Uh, where was the, where was the other party? Huh? Uh, somebody got up and said something to a judge and why, why wasn't it cross-examined? Uh, just, just somebody just got up and just said something, uh, apparently. Also, somebody's feeling sorry for someone's misfortune. And obviously, somebody's getting up and uh, helping somebody and fighting with them. That's honorable of, of somebody. Because some people have just really been cut out um, from their own work of their hands and had to just freaking get up and war, even against a bunch of people. And uh, what a freaking shame. And Jehovah said to keep going. You created it. I'll be by you. And, I, and somebody's going to get cut out today. They really are. Pride and conceit. Well, it, that's right. And uh, there's a reset here. Well, we have the, the fool here. Um, there's some type of a, a device or something that's connected to something that uh, is going to be also reset for someone. And this energy goes back to technology itself. And somebody is just constantly had to be at reset at reset at reset because they could only go so far with pride and conceit because the tower gets knocked down every single freaking time because you're a freaking idiot and you'll never win ever that's why you always said get up keep fighting keep fighting because something's going to end something really is going to end that's been so emotional so a wild card this is wild energy here people this is unpredictable this is like way far out there because i'm so prideful this is what this energy represents in the negative and this and you always bringing this out if you're aquarian and you're not this way he ain't addressing you he's addressing the proud honey uh so there's an eye center and look the eye is the tower in the hebrew <laughs> and the scripture says my eye is on the proud to bring them down and so there's a reset on somebody today and because they're they're, they're just like they're just crazy people they're just freaking crazy all right people do know who the crazy is my god and um we do have an ending here because there's eternity here for someone this is sword energy and you have brought out the other day that here comes a sword okay let me let me take some cards uh from this deck as well uh, you hope you just leave my hands. A hidden app on the internet. Well, that goes back to the internet stuff. And somebody also is an eyewitness. You could work for Eye Center. I don't know who you are. Uh, but the eye energy is here and it's attached to this energy. Uh, so there's secret money. Like I said, the king of swords is, um, there's the devil. Well, you could, there's the devil, people. And that is bank systems and stuff like that. And that's the X's. Uh, in situation two parties meet one another in their match and something's beautiful because this is two things met out of heaven uh, met uh, mixed right out of heaven and both exes on both sides had an ever loving freaking cow and did something I don't know it's just come through my spirit that way uh, for somebody but anyway th this there's money in a book and this is bank systems with the freaking devil. And somebody just tempted all the freaking time. They're in the industry probably for some people. Because they created something. But there's secret money and lots of fortune somewhere. And somebody's been really trying to hide it. Um, the mountains. Something could have happened in the mountains. Or you're from the mountains. But the mountains in the Lenormand is a, a blockage and a challenge and an enemy and danger. Uh, so Isaiah 60, 17. This came out yesterday. Uh, states that for brass I will bring gold and for iron I will bring silver and for wood brass and for stones iron and I will even make thy officers peace and thine exactors righteousness that's right because Jehovah's going to have his way people we got law right here and thank you for your service those of you who are um, at peace and have a sweet shalom and you're in righteousness uh, we, 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 we appreciate you we applaud you we thank you for what you bring to the earth uh, you are to be honored and respected but we also have people that have worked right beside people and acted that way and they weren't they're a disgrace and they brought a bad name on our officers and our leadership we need to lift up our leadership people and uh, not allow people to be able to come in here and create off of your creation that's a nasty energy it says Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, so the King of glory shall come in. Like I said, at the top, I think it was at the top of this video, uh, he, he builds it. He builds the tower, people, or it's in vain. It gets knocked freaking down every single time. You can't stand that stuff. Uh, two more cards, please, Jehovah. Uh, I forgive you. Somebody, Somebody's going to be forgiven, uh, especially if somebody created a... a 
uh, a situation that was so complex that some people got mixed up in it and they now realize what segment. Oftentimes we get that card that says, uh, my family understands now what really happened because some people got some people and they played people. They played both sides of things and they're idiots and they're going to go right down to the lower parts of the freaking earth. A runner. And well, you can make it if you want to. We had the RN come out and I stated that somebody been a runner. Somebody could be a runner because uh, it's, it's here. That's amazing. Something The RN uh, being a nurse right because somebody needs one uh we had the death card come out twice so they're gonna die uh because they already are dead on the inside uh but that went back to talking about in that section there were people that were murmuring there were also people that were rejoicing because something's gonna take place here uh there's a cashier well there's money there's freaking money people but that also went back to talking about a mound and um like a river and we got the river right here and that there's a mound there and uh, the, the, the water is turning over the, um, the soil and, and something's glistening from that. And so we got law on something. We've got murder energies or death or eternity attached to some things where money and inheritance is, is, is here. Somebody finding something today. Something's finally restarting for someone. And Jehovah's going to make uh, whatever was taken from you. If, if uh, you know... He go, if you got just brass, he's going to say, well, I'm going to give you gold for that. Because he loves you. And, and everything stolen is going to be returned. Okay? They're not going to get away with it. Your enemy is uh, defeated today. They're getting knocked down every single time. All right, guys. This is what came out. Um, grown adults who act like children and the wicked shall be cut off. And we'll just end with that. Until next time. Shalom.